this video, I'll be going over everything you need to know about sniping in BattleBit. From tips to optimize your gameplay to the current meta sniper loadout, you can learn everything about the recon class in this video. Shooting at support class players can be extremely annoying. This is because they have so much armor. They're able to pretty much tank a whole sniper round, whether that be a body shot or a headshot. So one thing to keep in mind is that your sniper needs to do at least 72.1 damage to be able to penetrate exo armor helmets. Right now, the only sniper in the game that's able to do 72.1 damage is the M200 if you equip the Ranger, Long, or Heavy Barrel. But in the future, if they add more snipers into the game, 72.1 is the number you want to remember. While talking about supports, this game is kind of like Tarkov. Not in a milsim way, but the fact that there's actually a limb meta. You can avoid armor damage by shooting players' limbs. Did you know that the farther away you move, the more damage you do? Snipers follow a pretty weird damage curve. Unlike most guns in other games, snipers in BattleBit have a reversed damage graph. You actually do more damage the further out your shot is. So sniping someone really up close, you're actually doing the least amount of damage. The game does this so that when players hit a 1000 meter plus shot and they get a body shot, they won't be frustrated that they only got a hit marker. So with that information, if you use the M200, it takes 980 meters to one shot body shot someone that's not wearing any armor 960 meters for long and heavy barrel and actually down to 938 meters if you're using the ranger barrel next did you know that zeroing is actually default bound to left all while you ads and if you hold down your left alt key and you scroll this will actually zero your weapon if you're consistently sniping and you're consistently zeroing your weapon i recommend disabling the free look keybind normally when i play i rarely free look i don't think i've ever done it before with that being said if you hold down your left alt key and scroll up that's how you increase your zero range while scrolling down decreases your zero range the m200 is the best hard scope weapon in the game and the l96 is best for infantry sniping this is because no other sniper in the game can compare to the m200's velocity and damage output and the reason why the l96 is the best infantry sniper it's because of its 10 round mag fast ads speed and fast bolt speed this was another common tip but this also needs to be said sniper glint only happens on long range scopes this is why i urge people to start using medium range scopes on their guns glint appears through anything that can be shot through that means that your glint can be seen through hedges chain link fences some of the tree models, and of course leaves. You don't want to give away your position, especially when you're sniping. Having the positional upper hand in these matchups is super important. Next, please call in supply drops. These can be super useful for refilling ammo and bandages. With that being said though, be warned. Calling in a supply drop gives away your position to the entire enemy team. So only do it if you have a really good position and you think it's worth it staying there for a really long time. This is another attachments recommendation. Please use the long barrel for hard scoping. Right now, the only gun in the game that can benefit from an extra damage barrel is the M200. And even then, I only recommend the long barrel. This is because the long barrel gets over that 72.1 damage threshold I was talking about, but out of the heavy and the long barrel, it has the lowest first shot kick. And to track where your bullet is going so you have a better idea of how to zero your gun, having a lower first shot kick is really important. Now, this is a pretty niche tip, but did you know that when you lean with a sniper, you actually drop down lower? This is helpful when you have a sandbag built in front of you. A lot of the time, I see fresh recon players stand up when they have a sandbag built over them. When in reality, all they need to do is just lean one direction and they can see through the holes. While on the topic of leaning, apparently a lot of people have trouble ADS while leaning. And this is because the scope is tilted 45 degrees, so it makes it harder to think about bullet drop. We're all super used to just lining up the person with a T crosshair. So when you're leaning, I can see how it can be kind of confusing. What I do is that I imagine the T becomes the tip of a triangle. And I draw a line in my head down the middle of the tip of the triangle to see where my bullet is going to go in a straight path. So once you actually unlock the M200, this is what it looks like. The gun automatically gives you a 6x scope, but this is not the scope that you want because this scope has glint on it. I highly recommend using the trick sight, this TRI 4x sight. A lot of the players call it the tricks, just they just don't say the 4. This is because it has the clearest sight picture in the game. The best bowl in the game is the one with the most amount of kills to unlock. This is just kind of annoying. I don't even know why this is a thing, but anyways, this is just what it is. For an underbarrel rail, I actually use the Urk Grip. This is because it decreases reload time by a lot. And if I want to pop shot consistently and I reload my gun a lot, I need that decreased reload speed. For side rail, I just use a rangefinder. I mean, this one's a no-brainer. This one's just, just use it. This helps you zero in your gun and understand what range you're actually shooting at. And for barrel, I just use the long barrel. Again, this is the barrel that breaks through that 72.1 damage threshold I was talking about to hit exo armor helmets, as well as this also increases velocity as well. As you can see, the velocity shoots at 1540. This is, this is insane. And to one shot body shot, you only need to be 960 meters away if they're not wearing any armor. 
if you guys made it this far, you might as well leave a sub if you haven't already. I make this type of content almost every single week. But yeah, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment what you want to see me do next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.